Hello again. We are going to shift our discussion from exponential functions and just talk about functions in general. Um, mainly, we're going to talk about some polynomial functions and then later on we'll add the exponential functions back in. So this is lesson 11.3, so let's get started. We are going to find a certain um, set of things on a graph and that's going to help us understand the graph a little bit better. So let me talk about what those six things are. The first one is you're going to find your maxima and your minima. Any high points or low points on your graph, you're going to find those. Any asymptotes, uh, vertical asymptotes, horizontal asymptotes. Any discontinuities, they're like holes in the function. Um, where your domain and range is, so any x's that won't be on the graph and any y's that won't be on the graph. Um, any intercepts that you have, so your x-intercepts and your y-intercepts if you have them. And your end behavior, what's happening as the graph goes very, very far left and very, very far right. Um, and what I've done is I've created a little bit of a, an acronym for you to help you remember those six things. If you read down the first letter, it spells MADI, M-A-D-D-I-E. So that'll help you remember what things uh, you probably need to look for when you're graphing. So let's look at an example. I have y equals x cubed plus 3x squared minus x minus 3. So there's a minimum of negative 2.15 uh, and 3.08. The minimum is at 0 0.154 and negative 3.08. There are no asymptotes. There are no discontinuities or holes. The domain is all real numbers and the range is all real numbers. Um, I have four intercepts. One is at negative 3 and 0, one is at negative 1 and 0, one is at 1 and 0, and the last one is at 0 and negative 3. So three x-intercepts and one y-intercept. And the end behavior is um, as y, or as x gets really, really negative, then y is going to get really, really negative. That's that arrow that goes down and to the left. And as x gets really, really positive, y is going to get really, really positive, and that's the arrow that goes up and to the right. So that's just a quick example of um, how to look for those six things um, in a graph and be able to sketch it more accurately. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know, and I will see you tomorrow.